All right. Oh, yeah. Hey, would you like to set up this space? Okay. Hello, Jorge. Um, here we are today, Wednesday, October 5th. So you have like 700 watts at 98. Moon getting full. And uh, we're here to uh, hold space and connect uh, about money, resources. Would you like to add more to that? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, yeah, to connect about like yeah, principles yeah. And, and purpose, like connecting about the, the purpose of, of, of diving into these resources, the purpose, uh, purpose that, that is in alignment with, with, with the, with my bright principles or something like this with my, with my, the, what I, what I came to do in the world. Mm -hmm. And you also mentioned that you uh, wanted to connect about, like, in a way that is something like magical, like how to relate with with these things in a magical way, and that's perhaps why you, to initiate this conversation with me, because um, uh, you, you're open to possibilities to see how myself or others make this connection happen All right. yeah. yeah there there is a way in in which i in which i've been using money that is very ordinary that to me like money is like I, i've been uh, relating it with like super ordinary thing and and there there has been magical times in my life with with money and, and most of most of the time like i just I think it's an ordinary thing uh, like i don't want to uh, and uh, i uh yeah yeah i'm asking for the possibilities to to tap into the magic realm of money like how how can money be like a source in a magical way and not uh, not just source in a way that it comes but also like in a way that i can spend it how can i spend it magically to one I feel like because it, it's a scar, it's a scarcity in my life. Like I, I have the story that I, it's scarcity uh, about money. So like, if I have five dollars, like I hold it like it's the last five dollars. So I have it like like in my pocket, and and I don't I don't want to give it. I don't want to spend it, and I'm scared of spending it. And and at the same time, when I spend it, it's most likely like an ordinary thing. Like it just like I buy a coffee and I just spend it. Something like that. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. So opening to yeah, transforming your the way you've been related to money. Yeah. Different ways of new conditions, giving birth to new conditions. Uh, conditions like like a condition of soil. Um, so we started this call a few moments ago and then we just started recording it. Is it okay if I, I work? I, I'd like to just open up with the card again. So, um, before we got on this call, um, because the, the intentions were to, like share how I connect magically with these things. Yeah. And opening up that flow. So the first card that I, I drew from this deck was this fertility card. Oh, and and it says it's the perfect time for you to start new projects, assess new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. And then we likened that to like oil, like having like this, this new way of being and taking out those old conditions that you have, like that will bring up, we can open up in the fall access some maybe like weeds that are holding you back from growing this money tree yeah, I mean, or a bonsai tree the image I got what their ideas are. bonsai tree of Japan is also I think called like money something yeah 
Is there anything coming up there that you want to um, Yeah, my fear of weeding, like there's been like with, with gardening, the experiences that I have with gardening and uh, that uh, I I weeded so many times like in for for other people's yeah. gardens, oh and I oh yeah I so, nobody's ever said anything about how the ratings. I have this story that I don't I don't like it. I don't wanna I don't want to weed anymore. Like I I have this story that is not necessary that that is like it's a waste of time and energy, and and that there is a, that something else is possible, something like that. Like I have the story that something else is possible other than weeding. Like weeding is like a modern culture problem. Mm -hmm. And there is other ways so with, with permaculture, for example, the, of creating a balance where weeding is not necessary or adding an element that makes weeding not necessary. And I'm, 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 I'm so when you asked me that question, I was tapping into that pain of of weeding i was like oh no i have to wait again like i knew i had to like do this shit and like so now i'm going again into like this like this it's part of like weeding and like what's what's taking space in my garden what what's taking space in my soil that that is not letting the abundance come or something like that so could you could you pluck those weeds and eat them and do something with those weeds to transform. Maybe those weeds have been really useful in your life. And I was sharing the weeds metaphorically as to like what's holding and preventing your tree from growing. So I basically got a cut. So I, yeah, let's, I want to like ask some questions to go into that. Um, I do want to show you the next card that came out because I took two cards, and the next card was this one. I can just, I can just cram something together real fast. Prosperity. Are you able to read it out loud? Yeah, the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. All right. <laughs> so those are the only two cards that I, I drew and uh, if, yeah it felt really supportive to this space like in this magical sense of like this is real and that like yeah, that the creator and the supportive force around us hear this request and hear this call and this is part of the, the magical relating yeah it's landing on my mental body it's not landing on my other bodies right okay so we'll open up the space to the other bodies and perhaps that's like the mental weeds though that are holding you back the blocks and it also does like the blocks the weeds the mental ones in our in our heads that are blocking us from this. Um, from this way, like whether it's like, like logic stopping us from believing that we're worthy of this. Um, yeah. So, okay. So it's landed in the mental. So you want to open it up to the rest of your body. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, with that camera, like I always found that camera, Yeah, and I, I feel scared about it. I feel scared about it. Just, um, because it's so deep like the like it's so deep and i'm so scared of like taking space again about money and like if, it's like i have this story that I, it's been dragging and that i that i'm not getting it and i have this story that uh, that I have like this this voice inside of me saying like come on get it already or come on like when are you gonna get it? You just have to do something, something like that. Like keep doing, keep doing. And there is a, a driver that kind of like puts me into back, back into that track of I have to make money and and uh, I I have to be receptive. I have to be receptive and like, like I don't I don't I don't know what's blocking me from that. Like I don't know what what, what how am I not being receptive. Uh, and yeah, I can see it. I can see like I, I still hold a resentment uh, for the world. Like there's still so much resentment that I hold uh, about the the world, and there is uh, an expectation that 
that things things don't have to be like this, that things shouldn't be like this, or that. Uh, and I, when I say like this, I mean uh, like like I'm in the city right now, and it's like everybody's like walking with like like blinders on, and like that, like I'm just feeling like this suffocation uh, of connection, and like in a place where like. Like I, I, I have the expectation that people should be curious about me and that they should like ask me where I'm going and like they should like ask me what I do and these things and 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 I hold that resentment that you know, that people like in this specific case that people are just going in a rush and they're like they're like, like like blind and yeah I feel yeah that's what my fear is telling me that that I, yeah. I, I'm I'm scared of opening up here or something like I'm scared of being rejected. Or I'm scared that I'm so like I'm so scared that I, I don't open up and there, like I hold that resentment so it closes me, it closes me to being open with with others and being in connection. Yeah, um, like I, I'm seeing like. Like there is still like a there is like a part of me that likes holding space in extraordinary and another part of me that's holding space in, in the ordinary like in survival. Like I'm I'm trying to survive here and I'm trying to make money and I, and I'm hungry and I'm cold and I, my backpack is heavy and like there is like those two worlds that there is like a a battle between those two worlds not a battle but like a like I go between one and the other. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm uh, like, uh, how, how does it go? Like, like, how does it go in a place where like I feel so judged? I feel like, like my image or something is like projecting something. Like my, my image, my being, the way I'm carrying myself, the way my eyes look, the way my backpack is what I'm carrying in my backpack, like it's all like projecting an image of, of like I'm poor or like I, I, I'm not valuable. I don't have any value or I, uh, I, I'm needing, I'm needing something. I need money or I, I'm hungry or I need you. There is like this like neediness and and it's like, like the pain is that it's, it's all over, it's, it's on me, like, it's on like my parents and it's on my habits. And I, um, yeah, I want, that's what I'm asking possibilities for. Um, are those, are those stories, you? like, do you want to keep those stories? Like how are those stories serving to hold on to those? Stories around money. I will say that they're yeah, yeah, like they're not they're not conscious stories. They're like stories that I have in my being or something that my being is holding that my, that I'm yeah, like part of me is, is holding those stories and I I. I can't just tap on them mentally. Like I can tap on them mentally. I can just say, "Oh yeah, I don't need them." I just like gonna put them over here, but it doesn't work. Like it doesn't work. So uh, like for me, like yeah, like I, yeah, I feel like like scared about it. I feel scared about it. like. Yeah, I, I I feel scared, to, and it's coming to the question like, what do I want to do? What what is it the value that I want to deliver? Or and I was getting some possibilities from that, and and, and still like there is like I'm always late. I'm always late. Like there's never enough time. And I, I'm waiting too long. And the, now the day is over, and, and now. Um, so I don't know. These are just like stories. I feel like I'm, I'm in, I'm in verbal reality. And like, uh, I think what I'm sharing with you is like more of like like coming from 
from what my fear is telling me so from my my feelings like, like in complete parts of myself talking about time you know, like feeling like you're always late days are over and um there was like a fear attached to that I'm just remembering the dream you had of the turtle cut wide open. Yeah, they had that whole whole flood thing I'm watching right now. It's like, what did you also wear? Turtle. Late. Yeah. 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 And then there's like other, this antelope or gazelle that's like speeding up like the fastest animal that has ability the gazelle can outrun the fastest animal which is the, the cheetah <laughs> and it does it by going in a zigzag like magically has these movements that are like kind of so clever in a way and it like weaves time by zigzag and can outrun fast yeah. Um, oh, and I gotta figure out how to get this guy out of the ditch. So do some sort of medicine. Uh, I don't know what this they is. <laughs> and finding yeah. like yeah. new yeah. 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 pattern or something. Um, yeah, fun, fun, fun. I mean, Look, they already like, wore melons and going inside it. So Maybe like realign magic. Bring it in the body. Maybe like this is gonna like these parts of your brain that are like stuck hitting this continual pattern of that are in your mental body around money and they be like a new zigzag formulated with the help magic of the animal or the way other. Into your like animal or animal. yeah. Yeah, I, I hear you, and I hear you. I hear that there is the you're saying that there is some like yeah. mental mental blocks that I have some mental blocks about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the the zigzag from the gazelle could be a, a medicine for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And the speed of the city, like so fast, you know, people like going so fast, and maybe like I don't know, maybe this can help bring a medicine of you, like with that, with this turtle that's moving slow time, and maybe like there's this balance because this is like two polar opposite animals. The extremities of both sides, right? Uh, could you make it like very, very personal? Like, like, can you like, uh, like, like, send, send it? Like, how is that connected with, with me? Like, how how are you connecting that with me? How is I just, that I, I'm pretty sure mine was at the house last time in Ottawa because it didn't work. So that way, like, around time. Right. So I'm like, okay, so I ordered the whole thing. and I You have a fear around time? You have it. Oh, you want The sound is cutting off. Yes, yeah, 70, 75. No, it's the same tripod. Right uh, yeah, I wonder if it's on this side or that side. Could you say that again? Message is more for you, though. It's how to make it personal. Because it. I was in relation I'm I don't know I'm seeing something like this like 
that you can say something like this, like Jorge, I, I've been witnessing you for the last three years and how you've been using money. And Jorge, keep going. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Jorge, I've been witnessing you for the last um, three years, how you've been using money. Um, I've, I've seen you toss it away or bear it at value and hide it under the ground. Yeah, keep going. That's yeah. working. Seen you, um, I've seen, I've been with you, walking with you as your daughter, as, as she would notice sparkly coin and have that attraction to it. Um, and you witnessing that as well. And I've heard you say, oh, um, well, I can't remember what you said, but you noticed her noticing it. Okay. Oh, was it that like the Alexa media? I, but yeah. Like, yeah. Like that. yeah that's, that's, that's their mix of uh, Alexa media like, well, for carbon fiber. Yeah. Yes. Do you talk about money? Yeah. Like, it's nothing. Like, it's yeah. of no importance. Yeah. I, yeah. I've heard you yeah. talk yeah. about like, money okay, so in like a way that there's no respect for it. I've heard who make judgments around money. What what judgments? I uh, can't think of any judgment. I've I, I've. I witnessed you <laughs> money from others and spend money for others, but yet you have no, I've witnessed that, so I've witnessed you be willing to take money from others but not be motivated to create it for yourself or work for it. I've witnessed you make judgments around working for money. I've witnessed you talk negatively about the concept of working for money, but yet, you can take money from people who work so hard. I've noticed there's almost an expectation for people to give you money when they've worked so hard for their money. And you're willing to take from people who have worked for your money, their money. And yet you judge there's a judgment with this and it's so contradictory for those who want to give to you but when they hear that kind of they but when I hear that it makes me not want to give because I worked hard for that money I spend my time which is my number one resource, is my time. My time is worth so much. And I give my time in working in service out of love. And I want to give my money but when I hear someone make these judgments around thinking it's a horrible thing to work for money, yet, yeah, and they'll take my money, it, it doesn't make sense in my brain. It feels hypocritical. And it hurts me because I, or it makes me angry because that money is like blood money, basically, that you're taking because I worked for it. It's not blood money to me because I worked for it out of love. 
and my service because I love what I do. And I'm valued in my work. And it's a trade. It's, it's a trade. Oops. Back in here. Yeah, I hear you. I, this is landing. And I hear that there is a contradictory thing that I do with money that I'm, I'm asking for it. And, a, and, and like people are like willing uh, or like you and, and other people that you witness, they're willing to give me that money and they want to. But when there is this other contradictory part that I, that I talk against money, uh, like I talk about it without respect, that I talk about it with like this, dismissing it or like have like this uh, uh, story about working for money that it, it, something contracts, something like contracts and say like, no, like I, I don't want to give you that money. I won't give you that money uh, because it, it's not being honored, it's not being respected, the trade that, that is happening you know, time for money. Huh? How the people have earned that money, have created that money. Yeah. Yeah. So when I read a post that I feel really inspired by after hearing someone's vulnerability around money, I feel open and I see them valuing themselves and what they have or to give. And I, I, I see their transformation, I can feel their transformation happening. And then suddenly they say, please give me, you can send me money to this address when they just disrespected it in a way for about the working for money. And I, and I say no, because I just worked for that money. I just gave my time. And it blocks me from wanting to give to you to, to send that kind of charity. Sure. It feels like a, a judgment or a hurt or a, it anger. It makes people angry who work so hard and sacrifice their time for their children. Like a few mothers I know that constantly get people to ask to do things for free, their services. Like a, a shaman woman I know, medicine woman, has thousands of emails, people asking her for free service. And she is a mother of children and she's raising those kids and she, this is how she pays her housing. And yet they say, oh, you're a shaman, do these things for free. Yes, 100, 200 years ago in another country, everybody took care of that shaman in the village. This is 2022 and it's um, this is how we, we're working with this money. That's how she pays her rent. So I've witnessed, uh, making it personal again, I have witnessed my friends be angry with you and disgusted with you because of this. Can you say more about that? Yeah, it hurt me. It felt so bad. And I felt so defensive of you so many times. Like, I'm like, I want to defend you like a little so, boy. Can you tell me, like, like they were disgusted because? Can you ask it again? Like, could you say something like that? They were disgusted because, or the. the they were disgusted or, or not, because. Uh, can you say like or an example of of one of them like this per, or like one friend was disgusted because one friend was disgusted because they pay taxes to cover um to so that you can get money to live freely and have all your time off free when the when they are working to put a uh, a shelter over their kids heads they don't love the system they don't love the welfare system 
They think it's horrible. They don't want to pay into it. And yet they do. And it benefits people like, you know, for example, like you. And so they're angry. Um, Yeah. And... Yeah, can I tell how, like, that affected me? Well, this is about you, though. In the past, I really, like, defended that you with all my heart, but, but it was like you were a child that I was taking care of as well. I feel like I was, like, wanted to be more, like, I was, like, defending you and protecting you in every which way, and it made me want to, like, give you more in a way <laughs> and and pour you poor you like I gotta like rescue you and make sure that yeah or and then I just dropped those people or something or what they were saying I couldn't hear it I rejected hearing what they were saying so in being more in this like transformative work and being willing to cause death and after reading your post and like being like wow he's going through it he's going through it and then like you're just there and then you asked for the money for free and I was like fuck you were like like really uh, like there was so much gold and value in you like he's got these offerings you know he's seeing another way of doing things in the world and and the honesty is 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 so beautiful like yeah we we're tired of this money game you know we don't want to be a part of it but don't ask us for free for our money that we've worked so fucking hard for give us what you got i want to know what you have to give where are your services where your gifts are and then i want to support it because I feel inspired by you because I feel inspired by you get it in the ways that is su- supportive but where I am receiving back like seeing the value of you seeing you in your fullness seeing you in your gifts whether yeah. it's a newsletter, a music, like something it is, but it's something. You're showing me something. You're showing me why you're great. You're showing me why you're you're showing me why you're amazing. I'm seeing why it is. Then I'm inspired. I'm inspired. I'll give money to inspiration. But just to like, yeah. Yeah, thank you. That is landing, and um, yeah. Um, so there, there was this this way that you described the post. It's like really landing of how I'm going went through that process of vulnerability, and and that something twisted at the end where I asked I asked for the money for free, and that that kind of like contradicted what I was saying or something like that. That fuck like that i'm so blind to that like so is it like what was what is so yeah so just like just like being a vulnerability without like asking for help like oh because i'm i'm saying like uh, like oh this is the evidence of what's happening to me and and I, i'm poor and i don't have the resources and please give me please give me money something like that yeah okay so i'm I'm seeing that i'm using that story uh to kind of like create evidence for my being a victim yes and and then asking using that story instead of just being that story of vulnerability of being like i'm in this pain like this is my pain about money and and leaving it at that like i'm just like this is my pain about money please help me something like that like Please help me. It's like, like I'm making it the point. Yeah, the I problem is just me, but like we actually like the problem yeah, was like everybody. Like this, this problem was talking to uh, to everybody. In a way, like this problem was talking to uh, a lot of people more than just me. And and when I asked for money, like I made it like about me, something like that. 
When you ask for money, it yeah, the ten, the ten or something. like you made it about you. Like, please send me money. Yeah. Yeah. It, the sound cut out. Has it cut out on your end? I, I'm muting it because I, I think that the sound comes in through here and then I can't hear you. It kind of like goes in and out from your sound. So I'm muting it when you're talking so that I can hear you. Yeah, so when I read your offerings and heard the request, like, these are ways you can support ways you can support me and the family and our visions love to hear like yeah when i heard about your offerings i wanted to support like i want to support them it's amazing he's doing these things this is great um like the different ones here's our websites you could this is the ways you can support me and then there was just these few ones where it said send send a send money and it was like ah <laughs> why for what I worked so hard for that money and so yeah there's this this story like that other it's okay for other people to work for their money and give it to you but that you don't want to work for money. And it's it's a double, it feels like contradictory or hypocritical. Or it comes off that way to many people, to people that I know. So I'm, I'm okay receiving money without working. Uh, so I just gotta make sure it looks right. It's good. Sorry, I'm, I'm, happy with it, so. Yeah, like I don't want to work for my money, but I, I'm okay receiving money from people that work for their money. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I get. Uh, do you want to go deeper into that? I also have some like questions I can ask. Is there stuff yeah. now that you've heard that? Is there some something you want to share? Yeah, time to go home and see what they're up to. Uh, yeah, I'm getting yeah. from yeah. these that <laughs> kind of like offerings. Yeah, like like to put to keep putting like yeah, being so vulnerable in what I'm sharing. Keep like sharing my process of transformation of the edge where I'm at. That's a yes. <laughs> And and uh, even like like uh, like creating my offerings like these are my the offerings this is what I want to offer this is how I want to to work this is my my value my passion my purpose of coming to work and and I'm getting that when I'm asking uh, for for free money or I'm asking for donations essentially that 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 triggers a lot of people. Because they, they have worked for that money and they're, they don't want to give that money uh, for free without getting something in back. Yeah, it's something around, like, I feel like donations are acceptable, like, thing. It, yeah, I feel like that's acceptable. It's, it's, it's that you're holding this judgment. There's this judgment you're having, though, that's creating a block. Can you speak to it? Yeah, this judgment about not wanting to work for money. That working for money is... I guess, can I ask you a question? Do you judge? Are you judging other people who work for money? There is stories. I have stories. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see how others might feel those judgments that you have towards them and why they wouldn't want to like you I heard you say that you're walking down the street and people aren't 
interested in who you are or you're wondering why they're not looking at you or interested or Uh, can you say that again? You didn't learn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I hear that. Um, I guess the question was, are, are these judgments, do you have these judgments towards people working for their money? Like, okay, for instance, do you judge me for working for my money? Uh, I don't know if I call it a judgment. I feel it more like a story. Like, uh, I have the story... Uh, like that that there is so much that there that there is so much that is missed when uh with working when you when you work for money that there there is there is so much that you worked uh at the nature school that that you that the nature school like pretty much took it it took like eight eight. 80% of your time and you had like 20% of time for us uh, for when we were in the family and and the and I, I hated it and I, I hated that you had to work like like 80% of the time where there was something so so valuable that was being created or something like that so that that's kind of the story that I have about money and, and it, it goes for people that are here to like like these, these people here working at the coffee shop uh, like the, like kind of like they're 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 spending their time uh, doing that um, instead of connecting with others. I don't know. That's that's the story that I have. I hear that story. It's a pain. I that story. I feel it in my whole being, and it. I feel really sad about it. Do you have judgments about my story? It is something about coming into balance. Do you have like a, my story is wrong? Like, do you have a, a judgment that my story is wrong and that? You no, know, the story you just shared with me then yeah. resonated through my being. It made, I have tears. I feel so sad. I feel so sad. I feel so sad that like I like missed out on so many um, family times, like beautiful family times, and I went to work at times when I just would rather, like so much, be with with the family. And I feel, I feel my father's pain. Mm -hmm. I feel so much of his pain. I feel, I feel, my inner child yeah i feel like how many times my dad had to go away to work to bring in money and how angry i hated it i hated that he would go away how angry i was that he would go away and he did it to take care of us because like he was doing the best that he knew what to do and i feel this as a part of my wounded parent self. Yeah, I feel like the part of me that does this when I was with you guys was my 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 masculine my my inner father. Yeah. Uh, and and so so this is this is the balance like oh and i feel sad right now in this moment in these days that i'm going to work and that i just came back from being in a bus going on an amazing trip and with this like potential to keep going on this place of passion of my heart where my heart wanted to and that I um, have made choices like and commitments, like adult commitments, adult commitments 
to return to this place of work and responsibility because I've committed and I've, I've, I've made this adult choice, this responsible choice to show up. And so I made this like choice from my adult self because my kid self would just hop in that van and go with you guys, with you guys and be in so much happiness. And then the responsibility part of myself. <sighs> it's committed for some time. So I take, so balance, I just keep hearing this balance, like balance between the turtle and the antelope or like the extremes, this extremes of it's these, uh, uh, I was a workaholic in my 20s. Like a work, my, all I did was work three waitressing jobs to never have to be at anybody else's control of money so I'd have my own money. So I worked all the time and I was a workaholic and it was so out of balance. And then I just threw all the money away and did the bankruptcy. Again, so out of balance, so irresponsible. And what I'm calling in now is this beautiful balance between the antelope and the turtle or between the non-working and the working too much and in my life right now I feel like I'm working like too much and I'm like uh yeah I, I'm just I'm calling in that balance like there's seven days in a week. How about 3.5 days? You know, something like that. But we're, this world around you, those people in the coffee shop, that's, this is, doesn't feel in balance. Yeah. I'm holding space for you and I'm falling apart. <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, um, yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you talking about balance, about the different speeds and the, how to use time in a way that it's balanced. Mm -hmm. I hear you too about your uh, adult commitments that you, that you made. And I hear, I hear about your pain. Uh, from the times where you wanted to stay home to uh, spend time with the family and yeah and yeah you have to go to work yeah no, that that yeah that that's my that's my story that's the that's the power of my story kind of like and I, I feel also my my dad's pain in it and and my own pain too because I've done that and and it's painful. And I haven't done it for too long because it's, I don't want it. <laughs> like, I, I pre, like, it's like part of me, like, prefers to be broke than, than working at, or, the, last, the last job that I had like that was like uh, working at Dairy Queen, making, making burgers uh, in the back and making French fries and uh, onion rings and stuff like that. And I hated it. And I was so much away from my family, I, I didn't want it. And I did also construction work uh, uh, sporadically because it just the, like kills my body. And then there is so many other options that, and yeah. And I don't like. There is still that, a way that, that that these stories are alive inside, and they're kind of like they're they're there. And they they just. They, they haven't been completed. They haven't been heard and they haven't been completed. These, so. these stories in a way are still alive inside of you um, because they haven't maybe been completed or, or heard. Yeah. Yeah. Like the the about the feelings you had when you worked at these places? Uh, no, the, the stories that 
it's stupid that people work for money, something like that. Uh, that people spend so much time at work to make money uh, and they're missing out on life. Mm -hmm. They're missing out on like intimacy, like like creating like actually like, like deep bond and or, I don't know, like like even like for uh, for parents, I think as a, as a father, I think I have a, a bigger story about that. That how 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 is it fucking possible that a mother has to go to work while the children are in uh, in, in daycare and she has to find two two part-time jobs or something like that to to be able to pay for rent mm -hmm. how is it possible that like parents like two parents have to go to work so that they can pay for their life uh while while the children are in daycare and like there is just so much that is being mi missed out on and I, I i carry like a resentment not a resentment but i carry like a fucking sword about that i carry an edge about that 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 I, i'm angry about that mm -hmm. and i my thing that, that my shadow side it uses that as a as a story to feel a victim and to and to actually complain and become a beggar, become a, a poor man, uh, and to become a victim of my circumstances, to become like yeah, like I'm poor because uh, because the world doesn't know how to stop. I'm poor because the the world is just gonna is keep going in this like insane rat race. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah. And one, one last thing is that, that I, the question that I'm standing with that I think is em, most empowering for me is, what kind of shape, what kind of shape does my being take, to allow myself, to allow my being to to step into abundance, uh, like abundance of receiving, and where there is not like this, it feels like a, a sphinx that is closed up. Uh, you know, a sphinx, like the, the muscles in the, the sphincter. that sphincters, sphincters. And I feel like there, I have a, like a reflex on one of my sphincters that it kind of opens up, opens up, opens up. And then like it, it reaches this point of like fear or something that makes it like whoop, contracts and like not, nothing can get through. So I like, I open myself, and, like in this post like that you were sharing, the feedback that you were giving me was like exactly that. That there is this, this opening, opening, opening and relaxation into my vulnerability. And and then there is like, this like, oh, that is like, like tense and like I'm back to that, like I can't receive resources. Okay. So like, how do I, like, yeah, like, how do I reprogram my sphincters to, so that it, like I, it can stay open, and and I can like like you can stay open and and close it if I if I need to close it because I think it's there for a reason to close it when I I don't I don't have more capacity for any more resources or I'm full or something it closes uh, and like how like how do I open open up that sphinx there to to stay into like a more relaxed space into like a more like. I feel like this is like more like the feminine, like more receiving, more like yeah, like come, come, like I'm here, I I can I can do this and I'm doing it and and I I, I want this thing that I, that you want to send me something like that. The world is an oyster. <laughs> Have you heard the thing? The world is an oyster. It's like it's like a juicy oyster. The whole world. <laughs> There's a saying in it. It's like the feminine, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and just drink it. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. Mm. Uh, it's interesting that you mentioned this shrinkster and that because I, I was your you were like, How do I how do I keep it open? And I was gonna make a joke while you have anal have anal sex. And um, so it's very interesting, though, because it, it said like like our our sex and money are in our roots, like it's in our root chakra. Mm -hmm. 
and this here is like this down here is like I'm even yeah like touching that spot of me and this spot here is where our blockages are and where our openings are and so yeah it is like that shrinkter and this is where our imbalances are stored in our in our in our blocks with sex and money yeah yeah so finding a way to magically work work in one way with healing ourselves in that part of the body in those bodies mm -hmm. mm, yeah um yeah, clearing the channels, opening from that spot, that receptivity, healing this area of our, of our being. Yeah. This feels like opening into a whole other kind of Zoom talk or something uh, conversation. I'm not sure exactly. It's sparking something, but it's like very it's back there. It's not fully sparked. <sighs> so is there anything you want to share at the moment? Um, I think that this vision of the sphincter, it, it kind of like gives me like a bit more of like a physical, like in all of my bodies, like how, what is what is con, con, constricting that, what is contracting that. And, and yeah, I'm feeling like there might be a, a process and uh, I want to I want to take a moment to find the doorway. So it's like, wh why does it close? Like, why does it close? Like, if, if my being is hungry, what what made it close? Why made it uh, shut down? What made it like create that reflex that 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 closes it? I think I, I was I was scared about something that was going in that I didn't want it to go in and it closed or some things that went in and then I didn't like like some like poison or something like that that like went in I was like fuck I don't want this I don't I don't like this or maybe some Yeah what is the doorway what what is what is stopping me from from allowing anything anything to come in, uh, and how how do I make myself not a, like a welcome mat that anything can come in, but like I can say like, okay, like relax, this can come in, like uh, like okay, like like I have a, a need for two thousand dollars and to pay for this thing, open up to receive two thousand dollars and and like I'm I'm scared that something else is gonna go in or something like that or or that somebody's gonna like come and take take stuff and yeah yeah this is like I I feel scared I feel scared about that that something like that is happening in the past and and I'm um, like, how do the question is like, how do I take care of myself so that I can like feel the necessity that I I have necessity for two thousand dollars. I want to use a thousand dollars to pay to pay back a debt, and I want to use a thousand dollars to cover my expenses during this month of traveling, and to feel the necessity and and call like like call it out, and then. When the res like 
<laughs> like, how does it work? Like, I, I don't know. How does it work? Like, do I have to be open for those things to come in or do I see them coming in and I open it and they come in and then I close it? So, like, there is this, like, part of me that doesn't know how, how that works, like, how how that that opening works. Yeah, and I feel scared about that because it's something about closing it and feels so auto automatic and like a reflex and a, a survival strategy uh, and like uh, almost like a, like this way of like killing myself like this way of punishing myself like and in a way to like so that I'm right so that I'm right about the stories that I'm making about the world so that I'm right about like that this world is fucked up and poor and and so that I'm uh, I'm right about working for money is fucked or like whatever stories I have Mm -hmm. And so that I'm right, like so, like I keep that close, even when there is resources that that can come in and that want to come in, and is the resource that I want, like I keep it close, so so that I, yeah, so that I can be right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and so that I can like stay in my in my shell of like hiding and and not, yeah, like I can stay hiding in my shell. And like not being like in a in a evolutive process, I, I feel like when when I have this necessity and I call for the necessities and the resources come and I open and these these things come in and I get that those resources that I was calling for, like I change it, like I'm I'm changed. It changes me. Like I'm I'm fulfilled. I'm satisfied and I, I'm my my request has been fulfilled, my necessities has been fulfilled, and then I can move on. I can move on to, to the next thing. Or I can move on to 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 the I can move on to yeah like like fulfilling that like okay I have the resources so so it comes into like a new cycle of like okay what is the next necessity? What is the next necessity in the space and and then I identify that necessity. And then, yeah, like, uh, do you have any possibilities uh, about that? Like about like like how is this? It felt like there was like this fulfillment you were speaking of, and then this emptying out process because you're fulfilled, and then this like getting full again, and then this emptying out process. Now you've emptied out. And now you're ready to fill and receive again. Yeah. And so it's like the feminine, the moon cycle, like, okay, now I've emptied out. I've let go of my baggage, my stories about money, and now I'm going to fill my cup. Ooh, it's so full. It's so full. It's so full. And I'm going to now spill it over and share it with other people. It wasn't even mine to begin with. And <laughs> now I'm going to fill my cup. And now it's going to get so full and then I'm going to spill it out. I'm going to spend it. I'm going to share it with others in a responsible way. So using that wise woman discernment. Discerning. So it, it felt like that circular motion. <laughs> and so the possibilities. How did that land? Was that like that cup feeling full and then emptying out um, allows you to receive more to be in that eternal abundance With, through responsibility like not just throwing it away throwing the money away underground or somewhere like that it's not being this is being buried it's like this yeah, in a responsible way. So possibilities, <laughs> yeah. Um, can you? There's, there's, a, there's like a few things I want to. I guess okay. Can you call on unseen support systems? Yeah. To pour into your cup. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm writing it down. Is there feelings around that that one there that you want to share? Yeah, I felt sadness. Something like a sadness about about yeah, there's like a story about asking and yeah, there was sadness because I, I, I know this works and I, I'm just like, I can't see it right now. <laughs> I can't see how it works and I I, I, I know that it works and I, I will do it. And I, I feel sad because like, it's almost like I, I can't see it right now how it could work. And I don't know, this feels uh, emotional, emotional sadness about being broke, like about just like being on zero, being like unseen and unsupported, feeling alone and feeling disconnected and isolated. I, I feel isolated, disconnected and, and poor and and I, I don't see a way out. And yeah, there's a well of sadness there. And, and uh, yeah. yeah, I think that, that that's a, a process. Yeah. It, are you able to see... Um... Because you're, I heard you say you're unable to see, and you're alone, and you're scared. Well, is there a doorway there? Like, can you, can you, from that place of of not being able to see, from that place of darkness, are you willing to go there to imagine? Like, are you a child in this healing? Yeah, no, maybe not a child, but maybe like 19 or something like that, or definitely like be uninitiated. Yeah, like uninitiated. Or like, You're about yeah. 19, uninitiated, man, feeling scared, alone, poor. Where are you able to see where you are? Are you in another country are you in the streets in a city no it's not so clear okay and like yeah like a, <clears throat> uh yeah like the, there is too much going on around me right now that i i don't think i can go into okay. it so easily it, i i hear i i see this yeah i see this as something maybe like a doorway for another, like a deep space holding. Yeah. 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 yeah um, no, I'm writing it down. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah, that's okay. So the question is, are you able to call on unseen support systems what okay here's the question who who are the unseen support unseen supports that you could call upon my gremlin is saying me 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 no <laughs> sorry <laughs> my gremlin is saying no <laughs> you 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 yeah, yeah, my gremlin is saying, like, use me, use me. Like, like I, my gremlin is an unseen support. Uh, and that was... Oh, okay. Yeah, what would the gremlin tell you to do? Oh, just to rely on him. Yeah. So the grep. oh, that's valuable. Thank you, gremlin. Just rely on me. I can do this all by myself. I all by myself, I can do this. Rely on me, rely on me. Ooh, I have that gremlin. Yeah, thanks. 
Yeah, I've worked much with my gremlin and those places. Holy. Work, 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 work. Rely on me. So, can you think to other unseen support systems and uh, forces? Yeah. Uh, bright, my uh, bright principles. Like, uh, like music, uh, like love, uh, connection, communication. Um, yeah, love. I think love is has been the big one uh, mm -hmm. these days uh, since yesterday. And yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm being a, a bit ad adaptable to uh, to to the world. Like I'm like I'm I'm picking up that I'm like looking for like what what is the world need that I can bring or what is the bright principle that I can yeah kind of like like what is the necessity of the space right now and, and I see there is a, a part of me that's like like my Kind of like the part that wants to keep being me and the other part that it can be that they are just like a, a, a vessel, a vessel for for the, these bright principles to come. Mm -hmm. and, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing right now. Like there is this, this other answers that I, a part of me wanted to give, like the angels or uh, something like that. But like, like to me, that's in my language i think that's the the archetypes the, the archetypal archetypal forces okay so i i hear oh i heard a lot but there's this one part of you or this big part of you you recognize that what what you your bright principles you can call on and and love like you that is like you you are full you are you were a full you were a man with fullness of love I wrote you a letter last night that I didn't like a little message. Yes, that was in it. Like Jorge, you were so abundant, like full of love. So yes, you've got that. <laughs> you've got that resource. You have that support pouring through you. Music, you have that. Um. Yeah, I, like that. That's your fullness. That's your resource. That's what people feel from you and want to like give they want to give because you have it you have the love <laughs> and it's so big <laughs> and it fills up spaces and it fills up cups and it fills you and it spills onto others it spills into the room, and it's a it's an incredible resource. That's why I love you. <laughs> it's it's why the world loves you. It's why we love. It's why. It's this gift that is needed in the world because not everyone has it pouring so openly and freely out of them. And it's what the world needs. It's like more people holding on to this resource and holding, not on, pouring it out. And something inside you knows it. It's just because you can pour it out because there's more coming into you. It's unlimited. <laughs> there is a lot of sadness there. Yeah. <laughs> is it, is it, has it felt unseen 
as a resource? Where's the sadness coming from? <laughs> yeah, like he's been. <laughs> it's unseen. It's unwanted. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, like there's like this, like so much, and and he's like. <laughs> I don't know where it goes. I don't know where it goes, and, and I like I, I it's like I just like keep it, or I don't know. There's like a lot of sadness about it because I don't I don't know like how to like where do, where does it go and how do you use it and, and and like where is the love in the others? Why others are feeling like this? Why? Where is the love in the others? Why are the others feeling like this? Why aren't they seeing this? Why isn't it seen as a resource? Yeah, why didn't anybody like like show me how to like use use my love or or like be like like take a stand for love or like mm -hmm. how to like be in my love? Like it's almost like everybody's telling me like it's too much, like we put it away like that doesn't that's not valuable here yeah that's what i'm hearing like it's not valuable here <laughs> so yeah it gets, it gets put away it gets put away and and i feel scared about it i feel scared about yeah like this like this like impulses or like this uh yeah it's like nobody has time for it or, uh, and like the the clarity that I'm getting is kind of like like finding like like finding that 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 opening that way of opening because it feels like people are uh, like people here are, are walking with their sphinxes uh, closed and and uh, like finding a way uh, finding ways that 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 door can open like saying like hey I have love. Do you want some love? Like even something like that. Like, hey, I have love. Do you, do you want some love? And I'm like waiting for that that opening to to open so I can like 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 pour pour my love and and it can be used. It can be valuable. It can be. <laughs> Yeah, that I can be received and that I can like also like use this and like 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 just provide that value and yeah and the other part is like seeing like like using the, this this clarity to see about asking about asking like hey do you, do you have love or do you have this thing that I need and could you provide it for me uh, and I don't know. I feel scared about that. Like, like I, yeah, and it's like like being ready to to hear a no. Like, no, it's okay. Like, no, okay, I made a, I made a mistake, or or it's not the right person. And and keep keep looking. I think I got, yeah, I get really scared about like that no or something that it's like that that is blocking me from asking or from from asking and receiving a no and and yeah I'm, I'm like asking like what I'm like asking is part of that like no like receiving that no and saying okay thank you and like you, this wasn't the right one and like I'm still center I'm still bubble and I still like have my yeah like my center and my integrity and and just keep 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 going and keep keep asking, keep looking for for the, ne the for the next possibility or something like that. When yeah, when I identify a necessity to to come in. Mm -hmm. When you identify a necessity to come in, yeah, and you keep looking for this, like you're asking, and you're asking. And you're looking for a place where the love is and you're looking, you have these needs and you have this love to give. And who's, who's there? Who's there? Who's really coming from the love? 
where is the love? Like, where are the people in the village and the community that would answer this call? You have the, if you even have this need and from, and they, they return it from this place of love because they recognize it. They recognize the love in you. They recognize the love in you and they have a value. They value love. They value that. They see it as a resource. And it feels like this has gone unseen in you for so long as love not being like a resource or a value that you have. And it's something that you feel in you so much. You feel it. Yeah. And it's not seen by others that often that frequent, not, not, a, not enough. Where do we go from there? That's the greatest gift of all. <laughs> it like there's no bigger thing. There's no greater resource. I don't I don't really know where to go from here. I want to ask you if you have more to share. Yeah. Uh, do you see any experiments that I can do that that I that will like that will help land the, these distinctions a little bit more on, on my being. Do I see any experiments you can do that will help land this a little more on your being? Do you mean with this particular where we just went now or overall, like with regards to the love or more possibilities and experiments? I'm not sure. I got. I gotta be lost. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think what's next for me is I'm gonna design some experiments to help this land more in my body or something. And okay. I was wondering if you had, if you had any experiments that can help land. Okay. This distinction of asking and, and offering it feels like the the, the the thing is about offering and creating mm -hmm. creating the recipient that that allows the the, the love to come in because i've been like kind of like spilling it like like going like that and and whoever catches it catches it sometimes it just goes in the in the ground and it it doesn't get like uh, you so it, it's like it doesn't get value by humans uh and even like other life forms possibly Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> and like how do how do what is how do I take responsibility to create a vessel where where I'm asking I ha I have some love or uh, I am love or I am uh, I am taking a stand for love who wants some love who who wants some of this like just like that who wants some of this mm -hmm. and and waiting for the, the 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 receiving to say me and then they open up and then uh, pour like pouring the love pouring the love pouring the love uh and then like okay i'm full thank you wow that was amazing thank you for your value thank you for your value like and then there can be a reciprocity uh where it's like I, i have all this love now like can i pour it on you and say okay yes or like i can say no uh, so like this, this like 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 opening so of the the sphinx there like of like receiving like I'm ready to receive and this is what I want to receive, bring it in, and then letting it come in and then having like having that that integrity about receiving and giving, uh, receiving and, and offering something like that is because it's 
there is like a step before giving that is like the, the offering. Mm -hmm. uh, I offer this who wants it. Mm -hmm. And I'm creating, like waiting for those vessels to open. And I say, me, I want it. Okay, let's go. I, I give that. And 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 saying when I when I have a necessity inside of me or something that I that I need, like I, I'm I'm needing food, for example, if I have need for food and like how identifying like connecting with the world to, to ask for the question like who who has food and who has food to, to give me mm -hmm. and, and and waiting like maybe this person comes with a with a with a pizza and I'm saying like no I don't want pizza that's not gonna fill me so I stay close uh, and this person comes with a French fries. I have French fries. Who do you want French fries? No, I don't want French fries. That, that's not what I want. And then this person comes with a, like a like a nice meal of curry and rice and vegetables and uh, like I have this like rice and curry and things that I can invite you to. Do you want that? And it's like yeah, that. And then like I can open it up and then this, this food can come in. Mm -hmm. And then, like my bean is full, and then he can close, and and like just like have that necessity be filled. Mm -hmm. and, and my my fear that I can sense right now is that there is, there is just there is like so such a big scarcity, and like my I'm scared of my hunger that I, I'm gonna say I'm hungry and I need a a curry and rice. But I'm so hungry that I'm gonna say yes to a pizza. Well, but it's not pizza what I, what my body wants. It's not it's not French fries what my body wants. And, and like, so it's like this fear of that nobody here has what I want or something like that. Nobody here can like give me that what I want. Uh, so this is like I'm just saying all of this to to design an, an experiment that I can do. To, yeah. Uh, to push my limits and push my boundaries of my limitations that it can like take me to the edge and I, I can learn like learn something new from that. It feels like a, a like taking your edge, learn something new, you're gonna design some experiments. And also could it be possible to raise your like rate something about raising your vibrations but raising your standards. Could you raise your standards like that you're more than a piece of pizza? You're the curry, the curry king. Yeah, and, and how do you design an experiment that, that does that? So is like, what if you start vibrating? Could you, so I, I guess, I, maybe I haven't experienced game world building and experiments yet, but like, okay, this could be fun. Okay. Like in this new cavitation, I vibrate at a higher level of um standard like if i for example if i was before gonna get paid minimum wage in a job my value is now 25 dollars or 30 dollars an hour uh before i was gonna get paid in a, a pizza or receive 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 a pizza i am now receive curry um Maybe I don't know that I don't have the exact experiment feeling. How can you, or the question is, how can you feel like you are that, that you attract that? Cool, that's a cool question. How can I att attract it? How can I attract? How can you uh -huh. feel that you are that so you can attract that? Like you're the curry king rather than the, you know, pizza, pizza, prin prin pizza prince. <laughs> Go from pizza prince to curry king. Um, like, how can you feel that, that, that worth? Like you are worth that curry or yeah you are worth that like you are worthy of that place it 
of mentorship, for example, in Jasper's program, because you are that super dad. You are that, you are that incredible, worthy human being that has so much to offer, that you're so full of gifts, that you already have the money. How can you feel like you already have the money to give in that exchange? Because you're so full of love or your resources. Feel that, like you're so, your gifts. But it's like, feel it, not think it. How can you feel it in your body? Feel that music offering in you. Yeah, and feel the value of these gifts. So coming as like not a beggar, but like you're already, you're it and you're, how can you just meet it? Yeah, this is what inspired like to kind of tap to really do this phone call with you last night was when I saw that offering and I, I just, yeah, I saw, I saw yeah, it, that you are that already and you have the gifts to give it and the way you can approach it instead of like coming with not having the money to pay for it. What if you came with the ability like that you had to pay for, like you had, you were bringing it because it was that valuable for you and you're that valuable for it. You are that valuable for it. How can you be that valuable for it? You know, because, you know, yeah, believe that because like I know that a teacher or a mentor, their apprentice, Man, like we like to, I like to choose my apprentices who I'm gonna mentor because I'm gonna learn from them too. So th there is a way that this is not landing. I'm talking. That's why I mean it's, mental. Yeah. Is do, would you like to hear, hear why or like what's not landing? Yes, please. The uh, it's like a I don't, I'm not interested in manipulating myself. I'm not saying that in like like. Like forcing myself to to be from a prince to to being a king, like in, in a way, if I do that, like it's only gonna happen here. Like yeah. I'm gonna like oh now I'm gonna imagine that I'm the king. But like tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and I'm like oh fuck I'm the prince again, something like that. Yeah. So yeah, like in a way, like I, I'm like uh, there's uh, that there is this thing that that is no is no. Because there is like a, a wanting to control where I am or a wanting to control like where where I should be. And and that in from that way it doesn't it doesn't like really like let let me land it in all of my bodies or something like that. I really feel this. Thank you, Jorge, for sharing that. Um as I was sharing it, I was feeling more mental as well. Like I feel more the magical like aspect of this happening like going in like through the pain of it and feeling the pain that was within us and cleansing it out ah. yeah and I, I think what what how it goes for me is like I, I don't I don't need a solution I don't need to solve this like there there in a way like there is no problem like there is nothing wrong with uh, how it is right now Mm -hmm. uh, and there is still a, a pain, and there is like a a a, a, co a consequence of the the actions that I'm doing, or mm -hmm. the the actions of my of my choices. Mm -hmm. And like uh, already, like my my being is in that pain of like like being in the pain of what's happening with how how I'm blocking uh, resources and like for like unconscious purposes of, of revenge. Uh, and and even how I'm spilling my resources into places where it, where the place is not ready to receive it, so it doesn't get value. Like it just gets like spilled into the ground. 
Mm -hmm. Um, Like the... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, like the, there is a, already that, that pain in there uh, about it. And and even like that in itself is a, is a huge clarity that, I, that I'm getting from this meeting. That's huge value. And it, I think, it, yeah, it takes, so, it takes a bit of, of practice to, to become an experiment designer. But that's, that's the first part, like, like, oh, I could design experiments that can like help this person, like kind of like overcome, like face that challenge that they're, they're facing. And actually like put with the possibility of like them, like overcoming that, that, that blow, because it's like kind of like if I, um, well, there is this example of the elephants, like the elephants when they're baby and they're being trained, they, they, they tie them up from, from the, from the leg to a post. Mm -hmm. And they try to come out of the, the, the post, they try to come out of it, but the, the leg is still, they're too small and they can't break that, break that, that, that string. And so when they grow, they grow so used to it that when they grow up, they, they're still using this little tiny post and this little string and they don't even try it anymore. Uh, because they, they were conditioned to that they were tied up in there. Uh, so when the, an elephant like overcomes like, oh wait, I'm an adult elephant now and maybe I can just try pulling this string again and, and it, like the string will come off. Uh -huh. So in a way it's kind of like, like seeing the shadow, like I have a shadow in front of me that, that is saying like, I, I'm poor, I'm less, I'm, I'm not worth it, I'm, I'm resourceless. And these experiments that I, I want to design or that I, I was asking you if you could like, if you could see any experiments for me to do okay. is, so that I can like actually like use my hands and like touch that shadow. And it's like, oh, it's just a shadow. It's just a shadow. It's not, it's not real. It's not real. Like I have more mobility. So that I can have more mobility and I'm not paralyzed by by that thing. Mm, okay, so that's that's what experiments can help with to help you feel like more mobile and like you can move through it and you're not paralyzed. So it's it's beyond the mental. It's now like in the physical. And it's like yeah. Mm. I feel like you've got it. Could within you to uh, design these experiments. And um, if, I, if, I, if I think of one that pops up, I will love to share it with you. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, maybe I have an experiment or another question. Um, and I know, I, I imagine we will wrap shortly, but um, when I asked about, could you call on your unseen, is there unseen forces that you can call on? And yeah, and like we went into the bright principles and there was so much gold in there. Um, you had your gremlin, you had, um, you you mentioned angels and then you said, but that wasn't really, it wasn't necessarily your language. And so I'm wondering, Angels are known to be like more from the upper world, whereas there is this resource I know of that world studies I've done throughout my lineage is comes from the underworld, and it's where the ancestors are. And so I'm wondering how that lands as an unseen support to call upon. So you're asking about the ancestors, like if I can ask for support from the ancestors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
And I'm wondering if, and this, like, that opens up quite a big uh, realm of possibilities. And, you know, like, going seven generations back, have you heard of that? Seven, calling on ancestors from seven generations back to the most healthiest ancestors. That has been in my realm of magical training that I have done. And um, if that lands as, as feeling like to call that far back to those ancestors who were connected to the land and the way of, of the way of being in harmony with Guy. It, it's been said seven generations back that yeah this is where our people were and so yeah so there's that part yeah and it's something that came up with you when we were yeah burying aurora and you mentioned something feeling about your ancestors Connection, money, or support, being a provider, and there was pain there, and there was. Oh, we could go in a lot of different doorways right now, so. Um, that feels like another, another. That could be a. That's a whole journey in itself, actually, Jorge. That feels like a. And a journey to go on. I want to I want to get just focus in here on calling on the support of the most supportive benevolent ancestors that you can. and if you if you can feel like calling on those unseen supports I called Travis before this phone call with you and I wanted to ask him what was going on for him when he took that toonie and won $10,000 my mom that he gave to my mom Someone very, two people had just passed away that he had known. One was my Auntie Patsy, and the other was uh, like uh, someone who was his stepdad. Uh, um, someone who loved him that had passed to the spirit other side. And it was interesting because I was like, what was going on? Was there anything else in your life? And those were the I thought of. And I was perfect. That actually answered something about the magical essence of maybe what was helping to support that. And he actually did give it up to like those people helping him or as a possibility. Um, yeah. So the other, the other question, how, yeah. So how does that land? I, I heard your story about yeah the that's that you asked your brother about the story about the the tuni mm -hmm. and that there he said that there is recently two of his familiar they have passed away mm -hmm. and that you you think that, that that had something to do with with how oh here comes the motorcycle. Yeah, you think that that has something to do with uh, how they won that ten thousand dollars? Yeah, so that was actually him that thought it. It had something to do with it, and, and okay. he's he's often coming from a very practical, logical, logical mind. But in that instance, when it was a pretty magical situation, he he thanked those people that have passed on, and so an ancestor is is. Yeah, like when we lose someone we love, they become an ancestor when they go to the other world. And in the training, part, I'm speaking from the training that I've had in magical realms of, of Irish training. So when someone passes on, they become an ancestor from the unseen side. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, it, um, 
those motorcycles. <laughs> Coming back. Okay, and then I wanted to share too that like that the three bait aurora or the I believe or I feel like the the creations that aurora is like an ancestor. Mm. So she could be like like some could call her an angel or something or a star being. I think it's however it fits into your own understanding of things and how how you can how you as an individual would connect. I wouldn't tell you, like want to tell you what she is, but she is a soul being who has lived and is a creation of yours, your star seed or your ancestral seed, and. Yeah, she's a being in a forest. Like energy cannot be what? Energy cannot be created or destroyed or something. Anyway. She's there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I got the possibility that to ask Aurora to for support in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I send those I pray for you. I send those prayers and bless <laughs> towards you as for you as well. Like whatever magic I have within me. Whether like it comes from the lineage of the Fae or the the lineage of the golden stars, the things like, yeah, just like you're, may you be showered in those blessings or, or like that was created, that was put into her, that was your and I's like creation. Of <laughs> Thank you. All right. How you doing? Ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready to close this. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm feeling quite full of possibilities and like a lot of like, yeah, like some doorways are opening up right now. And, uh, yeah, I want to like do, I want, I want to do this uh, like in a way that I, in a way that it works for me, in a way that it, it's not like I'm being saved again. It's not like like I'm being saved by something magical again, where it's like, oh, okay, like this is how it works. Like this is what I was doing and this is the consequences that I was creating. And uh, so like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I really want to understand, like not understand from a, like a logical point of view, but like a alchemy, like a, I want to like, like tap into the alchemy of like, okay, here is where I was doing too much and and uh, it wasn't producing the results that I wanted. Uh, and here is where I wasn't doing enough. Uh, and and it was producing these results that I that I didn't want. So it's like, yeah, I want to like come to that that understanding and that so that I can be in it and, and share it with others too. Uh, and actually like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like uh, actually being uh, like uh, something that I can share consciously with others. Mm -hmm. That, but yeah, like turning it in something you can share consciously with others from like from this gold, like alchemizing it from this transformation and turning it into like an experiment or something that can help others and yourself, like through your own from this research. All right. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> um, this has been a journey. I don't have a time for how long we've been on this journey. Mm -hmm. It feels like it sparked other doorways as well for healing and possibilities and experiments. Mm -hmm. so, thank yeah. you. 
I'll I'll get the recording. I'm gonna publish it and and I'll share it with you. And okay. I would love to share it with my with some other people that we're also in that we're also in research of my, of like what what is happening with money. Uh, and this this is full of gold for for me, and I think I want to share it with others too. All right. Hopefully Thank I didn't you. move around so much in this box to make people dizzy if other people are watching it. Uh, very yeah. new to Zoom, and next time I'll try to have a still screen. Okay. Thanks for this experiment. Okay. Thank you, Serena. Thank you, Jorge. Bye, Lo. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye for now.